What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? Nah, that, that was stupid. <clears throat> hey, what is up, guys? Did you miss me? I know I have been away for just a little bit. I have a separate video explaining all of that linked below. It's very personal, so please just click responsibly. Uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get right on into the video. So basically, what's happening right now is I messed up my recording several times, so I had to ask Tim to help me record it again, and um, so the second recording we had to restart several times as well, because Tim was having issues. I f***ed up that recording too, so I'm just going to do a little uh, kind of map showcase from World at War. This it might look a little bit familiar because there's a Black Ops 3 version. It's called uh, Return to Das Herrenhaus. This one is just called Das Herrenhaus. So, um, yeah, I thought I would just, you know, go go back in time a little bit, show you this, uh, this older version. And, uh, yeah. Um, I also gotta, I think this is the first video I'll, I'll be posting with my newer monitor that is not really new anymore. I got it, like, last year in April, which is right around the last time I uploaded. But, uh, yeah. I will be kind of exploring this a little bit. Oh, and Tim just uh, Tim just messaged me on Twitter. Let's see what he said. Oh, he said, don't sweat it. All right, well, yep, Tim, I... Uh, so he's still going to post his video, and you, you probably came to my video expecting to see my version of it, but that kind of just won't happen because of how much I messed up. But I will be posting my... Uh, like me, at the end of this video, uh, I'll put a timestamp right around here. I will put kind of me explaining to Tim how to set up the World at War map, because it's a lot more complicated than Black Ops 3. Like, Black Ops 3, you literally, you download the game, you like, you literally just download Black Ops 3, and then you go to the workshop page and click subscribe, and then wait for it to download, and that's it. Back in the day... It was a lot more complicated than that. There were some maps that there was no executable file. You had to just click and drag it right into the into the mods folder yourself, which was a bit tedious. But yeah, so I'm not going to do like a whole map comparison from this version to the new one, but I will just be kind of showing kind of the older style that World at War had. And I mean, I'm sure if you've played World at War or have seen gameplay from World of War, you'd kind of notice this is not what it should look like because this is a custom map. But yeah. So, um... Yeah, I really don't know what to talk about. I'm not really good at solo stuff anymore. Doesn't really showcase my, uh... I don't know, I just like people more, you know? Yeah, I'll probably, I'll try to do like a little bit of a loop around this map just to kind of show you a little bit more of what it looks like. I'm expecting this video to be very short just because it's been almost a year since I've actually edited anything. Any sort of video, like even just, not even for YouTube, just anything at all. I've watched a lot of videos on how to make videos, but it's just, it's just bad, okay? So this is not going to be particularly entertaining, but I, I needed to put something out. Um, I will be putting up another video a little bit after this just because I, I have some recordings, like three or four recordings from literally a year ago that I just never edited because work started up again and it just wasn't just didn't have any time but now with it being almost a year since COVID happened or started I should say I wanted to kind of just do something to take my mind off of you know just not being able to do anything I just realized that this room looks so different to what it is in the Black Ops 3 version it's not like crazy different but it's just it's just very old and then, like, basically the biggest difference is the graphics, but then also the zombie behavior is different as well. It's gonna be, it, it's kind of hard to tell because you're just watching it, but if you actually played this, it, like, the zombies are just coded weird. Because it was so old. Oh, and this I have to turn on the power for. Like, it's just, it's just an older game. But the zombies kind of stick to you, and 
Like, they have, like, their own little animation, and you kind of get locked into it when they when they try to hit you. So, they're very sticky. Um, health was different as well, so it takes two hits for the zombie to kill you. So, basically, my concept for the video originally was, uh, you know, I was going to take Tim kind of back in time to 2015 when this map came out. And uh, show him what World at War Customs was like, because, you know... It's, it's just weird, because it's like, there's all that new stuff coming out on Black Ops 3, like there's still, and like the custom map community has been expanding ever since. Yeah, I just think that this older setting of custom maps just isn't as appreciated anymore, so um, I just wanted to kind of show it off a little bit, especially with Firebase Z, that, that dropped a couple weeks ago, and then the new game mode, Outbreak, just, just dropped. Also, just literally days ago. This is just a part of Zombies history that it is... It, it, like, it is old, but it's not worth forgetting, in my opinion. Because this is kind of where everything started. In terms of custom maps. I mean... And this version of the game is... Uh, you know, this Call of Duty introduced the Zombies game mode. And custom maps weren't even part of it when it released. It was literally after the fact. Some some coders were just like, "Hey, we can figure this out," and then they just did it and released the mod tools themselves. It really wasn't part of Treyarch or anything like that. So I still, obviously I still play these old maps, and there are some real hidden gems from great developers. I mean, that some of them have even continued making blaps, maps in Black Ops 3, excuse me. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Black Ops 3 version of this map was made by the same person. I could be wrong, though. Tim was in for a real treat when I showed him all this stuff. Unfortunately, I can't really complete the video the way that I wanted to, but you know, I, I still wanted to upload something. So, uh, I'm here just recording something new. Just realized this is probably kind of dark. Revolution! Need to get the power on. Holy shit! What the hell happened here? Captain. Jesus! Nice timing! Ah. Uh, this looks a little bit different. We must have entered a a time warp of some sort. And all my guns got switched out. And the map looks different. Huh. That's a bit strange. I can tell you, I was not expecting this to happen. Oh wow, this looks crazy. Attention all students, please proceed to your assigned ship to... Ooh, and now I get to die? Ooh, this is cool. Oh, f Well, there was that. Um, uh, so yeah. 
that was uh that was my video. Yep, it's gonna be completely short, probably maybe ten minutes, a little bit more than that, but it's just not gonna be good. Okay. So uh yeah. Thanks for watching. Go check out Tim's channel. Not mine. Installers, main, PB, zone. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you see all that stuff. So then you just make a folder in there, call it mods. Yeah, I just need to find exactly which World of War folder you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Couple. So go, uh, so World of War, and then after that, what next? Just create a new folder. How the fuck do you make a new folder? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Tim? Yeah, oh my god, this is fucking... This is ancient. <laughs> so, map is, like, I gotta go to World of War and then go to, like, Workshop and... Oh, Timothy, no. It's a bit more complicated than that, unfortunately.